Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, you resonate. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. I am going to pull from the Zodiac um, 108 from Intuitive, Intuitive Oracle. We have cards that came over. We have train, hammock, grapes, and kerosene. So train says moving on. Hammock says relax, take some time off. So you're moving on from a situation or you're going on some type of journey um, from where you um, were at in the past. And at some point you're going to be abundant because the energy that you left was very aggressive and um, you had to be determined and um, be able to move forward from this uh, situation because it was just like this is kerosene here these are grapes and there's a headache it caused you a headache when it came to dealing with the situation and so this is life's journey you had to be able to sorry I had um what did I have on my desk I had something but anyway it's gritty on my desk so um yeah you had to move on and this is a part of life journey uh again it was giving you a headache so it was just time and so moving on i'm gonna go ahead and clarify uh that card energy that's gemini energy uh card number six and then card number four is also gemini energy we have scorpio and then we have i think that's virgo energy i'm not thinking but it is virgo <laughs> energy but yeah you had to do something different in order to move forward and at some point sometimes it can be kind of hard when it comes to um dealing with certain situations so we have aries virgo and gemini out on the board uh uh yeah so virgo and aries here so the aries is the kerosene i said it the wrong way but the train is king of cups and queen of swords so at some point it's just like this King of Cups energy, the empathetic energy that normally happens is dealt with, or is met with the Queen of Swords energy. Uh, somebody maybe drive a motorcycle or a moped, right? Um, but this is met with the Queen of Swords energy when it comes to moving on. So air, energy, and water. So you could be dealing with the air sign. Hammock is here. So I'll go ahead and clarify. But hammock is, yeah, you had to take time off from a situation that, uh, no longer served you when it came to dealing with the king qu king of cups or queen of swords type energy air and water energy um you know air and water don't mix it causes mist so um it was always foggy when it came to uh and oh come to think about it fog when it comes to a train right it was a foggy situation that you had to pull your energy back from and so when it came to the three of pentacles three years you couldn't c find um what is it called? You couldn't find any type of uh, um, uh, coming in, coming together or working together. You couldn't do that. Um, and so when it came to you trying to um, collaborate, I guess that's what, yeah, collaborate or, you know, it was just like it wasn't working out. And so I'll clarify the Three of Pentacles energy. It wasn't working out. This card comes in the reverse when it came to, yeah, conflict. So it was more conflict than anything else. But uh, with the five of wands energy um being in the reverse is reconciliation so at some point um you had to pull your energy back and now someone wants the reconciliation i'm going to clarify the five of wands comes out with the knight of pentacles knight of pentacles is doing the work showing up so the knight of pentacles i have it on my wall up here it says you can't get the results without first doing the work show up work hard keep pushing every day you had to take a time out you it says suspended between two things or in limbo you had to take a time out because somebody wasn't willing to do the work your empathetic nature and uh or their empathetic nature your empathetic nature and their um you know when it comes to the queen of swords energy the queen of swords um is basically uh, uh let me read what it says the queen of swords says um stand up for yourself always speak your mind and don't take shit from anyone so if you're being empathetic uh, at you've been empathetic for three years and now you're not taking shit from anyone, but you are also relaxing. You're not in the mood right now to have any type of controversy or any type of um, arguments or things like that. You know what lo no longer serves you, so you move forward from that. And that's where the hammock is with the Three of Pentacles because you had to pull your energy back um, because, again, 
um, you had to find relief and recover from somebody that, you know, you had to, that was giving you a headache basically, but now you're abundant when you did that. But remember, you know, the things that happened was aggressive behavior. It was like, um, you know, put somebody adding fuel to the fire and things like that. You were being provoked, uh, in order to come out of your character, but we're going to clarify the grapes energy. Um, the grapes energy comes with the two of cups energy. So, uh, you know, the two of cups energy, we all know is about love. We all know it's about partnership and we all know it's about mutual attraction. Um, but, or it could be new love coming in because you're abundant. New love could have came in when you started to pull your energy back. Kerosene energy. Um, the kerosene energy again is Aries. Excuse me. Um, the star energy in the reverse. So star being in the reverse is the opposite of having faith in a situation. You don't have faith in the situation because, again, this person, place, thing, or situation gave you a lack of faith and discouragement when it came to you know, the headaches all the time. You kept having headaches. I'm going to clarify the star in the reverse. You kept having headaches. You kept feeling like you had to stand up for yourself. You just kind of got tired of dealing with that type of energy. And so, therefore, when it comes to the star in the reverse, you basically have to protect your energy and sometimes walk away from the things that no longer serve you. We have justice in the reverse. So, consequences of your actions. But, however, with the justice in the reverse, this is somebody that is like... um a lack of accountability, you know, so they, um, and this is where the kerosene, it was like igniting the fire because again, with the star energy being in the reverse, you know, it just lets you know that, you know, again, you have a lack of faith, a lack of accountability with, within this person because they didn't show you anything. So that's the reason why you're protecting your energy. Let's clarify the justice in the reverse. That's the reason why you're protecting your energy because again, it was causing you to have a, that a look, yeah, so the uh, Ten of Swords in the reverse, Ten of Swords in the reverse. Again, it just lets you know that you feel some type of way, but you're winning. Regardless, you pulled your energy back. You're not going to, um, you're not going to argue about this. You're recovering from the situation. None of my cards are in the reverse, just to let you know. I, I purposely pull them out of reverse because if they come in the reverse when we're shuffling, then they're meant to be in reverse. So again, all of this energy caused you to feel aggressive, to feel like, you know, you were being provoked. And, you know, it just encouraged you to be able to move forward and to not let this uh, situation when it came to the love or any type of situation cause you a headache anymore. You're not doing that anymore. I'm going to clarify the Ten of uh, Swords in the reverse. Yeah, I'm going to clarify the Ten of Swords in the reverse. You have, oh, wait, did a card fall out? Did it turn over? I could have swore a card fell out. I felt a card. Hmm. Maybe it didn't. I could have swore a card fell out. But yeah, maybe it didn't. Maybe it needs me to shuffle again because I could have swore either it fell out or it turned over. Let me look around on the ground. Hold on. No, no, no. It didn't. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and clarify the Ten of Swords in the reverse. It did not fall out. So, again, okay, Page of Swords. I was going to say, maybe you guys are screaming at me. So, Page of Swords is having clarity, but not really want to see what it really is. Uh, and so, again, three years, you've been knowing that unsure energy of this person actually want to work with you or actually want to, you know, collaborate with you or to have love with you. And so, therefore, even though you're abundance and you're bearing fruit and you can – do everything and be everything to any and everyone, um, enjoying the fruits of your labors. This is what you have to do for yourself because it's not, um, it's, 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 um, one sided type of energy. So the page of swords just clarifies that with it being unsure. Okay. The page of swords is like, uh, somebody that's very curious, uh, you know, um, this, the page of swords that I always read and learned about, it says a quick, sharp mind is one of your greatest assets. Be alert, crystal clear, and focused on your perceptions. But at some point with this energy being here, it's causing you more ang anger and anxiety and headaches in order for you to be able to move forward. That's why the best thing for you to do was to move on. So again, we're going to clarify the page of swords because nothing wants to come out upright until it does, right? Okay, that card flew over here. You saw that. We got a jumper. 
comes with the uh, Ten of Wands burdens, yeah. So we all know what it was, the burdens, and now there's going to be some type of communication that's going to happen. Eight of Wands energy, the Eight of Wands energy is communication, but what type of communication can they give you when it comes to you being and doing everything that is and ha being optimistic and doing all these different things for them until you didn't, till you realize what it was causing you and how it was causing you to feel. Um, this is their energy. I'm going to go ahead and um, pull from their energy. Uh, let me see. I'll pull from the true emotion uh, uh, oracle, the true emotional oracle, and then I'll pull tarot. Excuse me. I know that's loud. Um yeah, I'll pull from the tarot, pregnancy, fake news, DNA, somebody may have had a pregnancy, I don't know, uh, bottom of the deck, sweet talk, yeah, this person used to could sweet talk you out of anything, and now, you know, again, it was just a matter of, you know, just, just being fake, feeling fake, and also love of a child, um, I don't know, firestorm, uh, karma, drama, um, a mental breakdown and then we have the memory so this person okay so this is how I see it this is what was causing these energies and I'll go ahead uh, the pregnancy fake news this is lies uh, to me it doesn't necessarily have to be pregnant I cannot predict anybody's future but it doesn't have to be a pregnancy or there could have been a pregnancy um, who they thought that was their child I don't like drama so take what resonates. If it's, it's for you, it's for you. But it caused a lot of drama and energies in their life. And it caused for you to feel some type of way as you focus back on it or as they look back at all of the stuff that they put you through. Now they want to communicate. I'm going to clarify this King of Cups and Queen of Swords. Let me shuffle this a little bit more. This, mon this is my Monopoly, not my, but the Monopoly Tarot deck. Um, uh, so let's clarify the King of Cups and the Queen of Swords energy to see what comes out about moving on, you know, it's, it's, yeah, judgment, consequences of their actions, so you moved on because of the consequences of their actions, and so judgment er energy is having a realization, you know, justice is the consequence of their actions, but judgment is the realization that, you know what, it's time for me to just move forward, no matter what, there's nothing that I can do, I'm not going to even judge this situation anymore, you know, hey, um, I can be, I can be blunt, I can be, kind of um, a butthole, but I want to go ahead and let my empathetic nature work in this because I need to take care of myself. So this is you facing yourself and moving forward. Uh, let's clarify the um, hammock energy with the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so this kind of came out sideways, lovers, and darkest before the dawn, Ten of Swords. Yeah, Ten of Swords comes out, um, and the Magician. Yeah, so this is air energy here. Um yeah, all of this is air energy. So you could be dealing with the air sign. Like I said earlier in here, you were dealing with the air sign of somebody that did not want to work with you and collaborate with you and have a relationship with you. So the only thing that they could do was, again, um, you only thing that you could do is not have any conflict and wait for them to do the work. But while they're doing the work, you needed to work on yourself. And sometimes that's just pulling your energy back in the darkest before the dawn and the magician energy. This person isn't able to manifest based upon their um, things that they put you through. And so, therefore, they're realizing that, you know, you are the one that's abundant. You're the one who brought everything towards them, and they can't sweet talk you anymore. I'll scoot this over so you can see it. Um, they realize that all they are to you now is a headache, and the love is pretty much, now I'm not going to say necessarily lost because we never really lose feelings for people. We just don't fool with people anymore. And so that's just kind of where it's at. I'm going to clarify uh, how the magician and the um, lover's energy doing what makes your heart happy because it's sideways. It's, it's unsure. You know, it's unsure. They're trying to see what it is. This came out the same exact way. Uh, Queen of Swords energy, supporter of truth and, protect, and protection. There was nothing, and that's why it came out sideways. There was nothing that they provided to you. They weren't able to manifest anything with you. Um, because they were so busy dealing with the drama outside of their lives and uh, love of a child could be the karmic energy of the past uh, and it could have been a baby it could have been anything it could have been when they were a baby it could have been a lot of those things I'm going to clarify so the queen of swords comes out twice um, also um, doo -doo -doo -doo. what did I want to say 
I was going to say something. Was it the Ten of Swords? Yep, Ten of Swords, but it came in the reverse. That's what I was trying to say. The Ten of Swords comes out in the reverse here, which is your energy, um, and knowing that this is burdens, and it comes out needing clarification. So the Queen of um, Swords here, supporter of truth and protection. Let's clarify all this energy. All right, there you go. That just tells you everything. You had to move forward. You had to move forward. The emperor energy, there was stability there. You, uh, They could have been the emperor, but they were mentally stuck. They were mentally stuck. You had to preserve your energy. Seven of Wands, uh, when it comes to conflict, when it comes to you actually, you know, being defensive, you know, and also quick communication to guardians. Again, they want to communicate with you because you move forward. And so we have the two of cups. Let's clarify the two of cups. I'll try to turn these over. I mean, not try. I will turn these over. It's the Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords. So they're saying better things are ahead. And now they want to uh, come and love you. Messenger of romance and invitations. They want to send an invitation. That's the reason why they're wanting to communicate with you. And then we have the Ten of Wands energy, which is burdens, which has come true. Nine of Cups, um, they're unsure if they're going to be able to fulfill the things that you want because it came out sideways, but they're going to try to sweet talk their way back into your life. I'm going to clarify the Nine of Cups energy, which is which has come true place. Yeah, because, uh, okay, you've seen how it turned around, right? So uh, we have the Page of Cups in the reverse, Page of Cups in the excuse me, page of cups in the reverse is like emotional immaturity. They're immature, death in reverse. They don't want this to end, you know, um, endings for new beginnings. They don't want this to end. So the death in reverse and the de death in the up upright is change, but they don't want you to change. The Knight of Swords energy, Knight of Swords says, be tough, be ambitious, know what you want. They don't know what they want. They don't know what they want. And so when it comes to this energy, you know, the only thing that you can do um, and then them only thing that they can do is understand why they feel the way that they do because they're burnt out because of this and they took it out on you five of cups being in the reverse is just like you know what it's not my fault but they want to accept things the way they are move on and find peace with you let's clarify the five of, oh sorry I left this out so I'll turn it over empress they see the beauty in you um, I'll put that right there. They see the beauty in you, but let's clarify the five of cups in the reverse. You know, um, yeah, they want to just move forward. They don't want to deal with that. You know, they don't want to, you know, talk about it. They want to sweet talk you into telling you stuff. But uh, this card tried to come over, so I'll take it. Uh, yeah, um, Queen of Wands energy. So supporter of ambitions and business and success. See, it all goes back around. So now they want to support you. Three of Pentacles energy, Queen of Wands energy is confidence. Confidence shines from the inside when you love yourself, own your flaws, rocking without caring others think. But the hangman energy is here because, you know, they don't know what you're going to do. And they gave you such a headache in the past. And now they want to communicate and sweet talk you. Excuse me. But because they see your beauty they see you know that you're able to create and to be able to flourish and that's what the realization is is that this past stuff was tra traumatic and drama filled and they're re they're remembering is what i was trying to say of the past when it came to you but they also want to support you now when in the past they were unsure until you pulled your energy back so take what resonates leave what doesn't um i'm gonna go ahead and pull from, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. um, I think I got everything. Well, the karmic male is here. This could be male or female. Take what resonates. Uh, you can the roles can be reversed, so um, it can be just that somebody with heavy masculine energy or somebody with heavy feminine energy in their in their chart. It doesn't mean that if you're a male, um, this relate this doesn't relate to you. This if this or if you're a female with the female, it, it just, whatever resonates, if the story resonates, so I'm going to pull from the karmic, um, uh, male, this card tried to come over, I'll pull one more, so pregnancy is, is very prominent here, pregnancy, expect to, uh, be treated well, and engaged, so, yeah, that, this engaged in pregnancy came out sideways, so, again, pregnancy came out twice, they could have had a baby, they could have thought that this was something that they were trying or they didn't know for sure if you guys would ever have anything. 
insecure tactics, the sweet talking things is why they were the way that they are. So maybe they had a pregnancy, something about a pregnancy, something about the past, something about a child um, engaged, something about now they, they're unsure or they were unsure, but, you know, they see that you have the ability to create. So this could be somebody who is, um, has, um, what is it? I know childhood trauma and things like that, but what it could be is somebody kind of getting in where they fit in. And that's the insecure tactic tactics that they had in the past. And you're not sure if they still do. I'll pull, let me see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. What do I want to pull? I'll pull from the breakup Oracle to see what uh, comes out because uh, at some point, at some point, this person, yeah, treated, expected to be treated well. They were expected to be treated well by everyone, no matter what the situation was or is or whatever. And so uh, that's how I see that. Three cards. They thought the grass was greener, new love and overthinking. So uh, forgive me, but I found a new love who makes me feel alive. So maybe they thought that this situation made them feel alive. But now they realize they're overthinking and they can't move on. I'm driving myself crazy. Thoughts of you keep coming, uh, keep consuming me and the grass is greener. I need time to see if there was, there's better romantic options. So that's the reason why they were unsure about that. And then at the bottom of the deck, they can't move on. I can't move on no matter how hard I try. And so that's the reason why they're wanting to come communicate with you. Because again, they thought that the grass was greener on the other side and that they would experience new love and this came out with a whole bunch of drama and it was just causing you a headache just just because this person expects to be treated well but they don't know how to treat a person and that's what you taught them so remember no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher right so all you got to do is send strength and healing and it looks like you've been healing so at some point that's what we are going through I'm going to pull from the four agreements if you want to know my um, perspective of the four agreements I put the link up above and then from the crystal deck which focuses on the chakras this is a crystal cola crystal and be impeccable with your words express your love impeccability of the word can be measured by the by your level of self-love if you love yourself you will express that love in your interactions with others and that action will produce a like reaction so I'm not going to say that you don't didn't love yourself I'm going to say that um, you saw potential in the situation and therefore you were going to let it play out that's what we do as cancers is to let things play out and kind of go with the flow and so I think that is the energy that you went through and but here's the thing um, you have to know that potential isn't enough anymore moving forward um you have to say what you want mean what you say and go from there and you know at some point some t some things aren't worth an argument and that's the reason why you have to pull your energy back but the chrysocola is for you to be able to take care of yourself it's the third eye and the throat and the heart chakra auroric cleansing sorry auroric cleansing support and soothes auroric cleansing and you're that's what you were doing here you were cleansing your energy you were cleansing your energy. Yep. And so it says, I welcome the different phases in my life. And that's the journey that you had to go on. is to be able to learn how to cleanse, cleanse your energy. And that's the realization. I welcome the different phases of my life. And that is what happened here. You guys, do me a favor. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, if it resonates. Green hearts, if you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. You got my six. I need to have my back because I have yours. Now, let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness. Generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.